Tappy activated. Hi, my dear crypto fam. Today, we'll plug into an exciting topic of test nets and main nets. Beep, beep. My circuits are buzzing with anticipation. A mainnet is the main stage where real transactions happen and actual cryptocurrencies are used. When a new blockchain feature or platform is ready for prime time, it moves to the mainnet. It's like a robot that has passed the testing. The blockchain's native cryptocurrency starts to be used, letting people trade real assets, pay transaction fees, and stake tokens to participate in governance and security. Holy scrap metal, it's a big game. The mainnet uses two common methods to validate transactions. Proof of work, where miners solve complex puzzles to secure the network, and proof of stake, where validators are selected based on how many coins they stake as collateral. Both systems help keep the blockchain secure and decentralized. Let me break it down into bits and bytes. The more nodes, computers running the blockchain, a network has, the more decentralized it is. More nodes mean better security and less chance for tampering since each of these nodes keeps a copy of the entire blockchain. Continuing with the data transfer. The mainnet supports smart contracts, which are automated agreements and decentralized applications. They allow developers to build all kinds of cool apps without needing middlemen. Crypto wallets store your private keys and let you send, receive, and manage your cryptocurrency. At its core, the mainnet has a few key components. Blockchain protocol is the rulebook for how everything works. For example, Bitcoin's protocol runs Bitcoin, while Ethereum's protocol powers Ethereum. Then, every mainnet has its own crypto used for transactions, staking, and governance. Like Bitcoin has Bitcoin BTC, and Ethereum has Ether ETH. There are also miners, validators, and nodes. I hope your memory boards work well and you remember me telling you about all this in the previous video. If not, go back and watch it again! Now, hold on to your circuits. For developers, the mainnet is where they get to show off their creations to the world. After testing new apps or features on a testnet, they deploy them to the mainnet when they're confident everything works perfectly. It's like moving from a practice game to a real championship match. And for users, beep boop, the mainnet is where they do everything. From making real transactions to staking coins and voting on governance issues. Ah, uh, I bet you need time to process all this data. See you in the next video. Let's boost your crypto IQ first. What exactly is a testnet? It's like a training ground for blockchain developers, allowing them to try out new features, make improvements, and test things safely without the fear of messing up the real network. Explanation mode activated. Developers add new tools or products to the testnet to see how they work in a risk-free environment. No harm to the hard drive. If something goes wrong, no big deal. A testnet will catch the bugs before they reach the real world. Testnets use testnet coins, which are basically fake cryptocurrencies that have no value. This allows developers and users to try out transactions and smart contracts without putting real money on the line. Ah, a risk-free option. My analyzing processor approves. It's perfect for learning how things work or testing out new decentralized apps. The best thing? You can get those test coins for free. Holy motherboard, that's fun! Sometimes developers even invite users to help test the blockchain, providing feedback and helping spot errors. Setting up a testnet account is easier than you might think. Pick a crypto wallet that supports testnet coins like MetaMask, Coinbase, or Trust Wallet. Generate a special testnet address, different from your regular mainnet address. Get some testnet coins from an online faucet or by mining them. Remarkable achievement logged. You're ready to send, receive, and experiment with crypto without any risks. 
Now get ready to download data on some popular test nets. Bitcoin Testnet works like Bitcoin, but without using real money. It's great for exploring how Bitcoin transactions work without paying any fees. Litecoin Testnet is similar to Bitcoin's, a sandbox for testing, but it's for Litecoin users. Ethereum Testnet is a must for developers working on dApps, perfect for trying out smart contracts and other blockchain experiments. Common Ethereum testnets include Sepolia and Holesky, where developers can play with new features. So, whether you're a beginner learning the ropes or a pro testing new features, testnets let you experiment, learn, and innovate without the risk. I'm about to share a file with the last bites of info about mainnets and testnets. What's the difference between them? Let's decode this topic. Mainnet is the live blockchain where real transactions take place. It involves real assets and cryptocurrencies. It's also where decentralized apps operate, and each action costs real tokens like transaction fees or staking rewards. Mainnet is highly secure, with numerous nodes ensuring the integrity of the network. Initiating info download on Testnet. It's a safe testing environment for developers. It allows them to experiment with new features, smart contracts, and dApps without risking real money. Testnet tokens hold no real value, making it perfect for trial and error. While Mainnet handles a large volume of real transactions and offers high security, Testnet is smaller, used for development and features fewer nodes. It's where developers can ensure everything works perfectly before going live. Sharing closing statement. Mainnet is the real deal, and Testnet is the testing ground where new innovations are perfected. Now, let your processors work with all this data. Like this video and subscribe to stay ahead of the crypto curve. Tappy deactivated.